was so impressed with our community. Um, we raised over 35 ETH for Coin Center. It was such an awesome event. So many cool people. And they even made it out, even through the snow and trekking up the hill. We are here in Golden, Colorado at Eric Borges' new house celebrating the pioneers of crypto. It's a party fundraising ETH for Coin Center, which is one of the top lobby groups pushing cryptocurrency in DC, helping fight the good fight. Uh, everybody who came to the dinner tonight donated one ETH to Coin Center. And then after this, we're opening it up to everybody at ETH Denver for a pre-party to kick off ETH Denver 2022. It's gonna be lit. our centralized company into a DAO. We are building a community free of regulatory burden, and we are building a platform for the world to interact with decentralized finance. The whole reason for this dinner tonight uh, was not only to raise funds for a great organization. To those of you who have worked the last decade to make this industry what it is today, we thank you. So please, let's raise a glass to our honored guest, to Satoshi and those who have contributed since. We're so excited to have Niraj and Jerry here from Coin Center. Um, Niraj, I think, had one of the all-time great descriptions of what they do on Twitter, and I'm paraphrasing here, Niraj. I, I believe it was a uh, Game of Thrones reference. Uh, he said, what Coin Center does is akin to the Night's Watch. So all of us in crypto are fighting amongst ourselves about a bunch of, you know, maximalist bullshit, this or that. And they're, they're on the wall, like, you know, staving off the, the evil hordes. Those are those guys. They deserve your support. They deserve all of our support. They're, they're killing it. Um, particularly... And by virtue of your attendance, you have supported them. So thank you very much. And uh, I'll pass it on to Jerry from Coin Center. Coin Center's been around for just over eight years. And um, it's amazing when we started, you know, there was nobody in DC who, if you want to pick up the phone and call Bitcoin, who did you call? <laughs> Hopefully they would call us and we would answer and we would go explain. And it's changed so much um, over those eight years where now it is becoming one of the top issues, especially in the finance and banking committee that they really care about. And over that time, people always assume that we're like an industry lobby group and they treat us that way and that's fine. They can think whatever they want of us and we're happy to go in there and talk to them. But what Coin Center is at root and always has been, and I think it's becoming more clear to folks now, Coin Center is a civil liberties organization, right? The reason we exist is to protect your first amendment right to speak, that is to write code. We exist to protect your First Amendment right to assemble, to form peer-to-peer -peer networks, right? We exist to protect your Fourth Amendment right to transact privately, unless there's a warrant, right? Show me the warrant. And so um, we've been doing that successfully for eight years. Things are getting uh, a lot hotter in DC now. We're getting more challenges, um, uh, and um, we're gonna have to go on the offensive more. So you here today are helping us do that. So thank you all. Coin Center uh, has been a front line of defense while maintaining fidelity to the principles of crypto, that all people have the right to financial privacy and to open, transparent, and immutable blockchains. So Shapeshift uh, has always walked a fine line between pioneering these same principles and uh, trying not to end up in jail. <laughs> and a lot of our ability to do that uh, has been the good work of Coin Center. So uh, the buses full of party people will be arriving uh, pretty shortly. Enjoy yourself, there's open bars. We'll be going late tonight. You guys are all welcome to stay here as long as you want. Uh, my wife, Michelle, will be DJing a little bit later. So you will, you will see her there. Cheers.